Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this video, I'll show you how to create a backup of your WordPress website and save it on your computer. Why do you need to create a backup of your WordPress website? Now, there are many reasons you need to create the backup of your website. Now, the first reason is that one of the plugins may get corrupted and it will crash your website. Similarly, some of the WordPress updates may also crash your website and your website will not be visible. So in that case, you should definitely create a backup of your website and save it on a computer or you can upload it to any online storage server such as Google Drive or OneDrive and you can upload the same backup files on these uh, online servers also. Now in this video, we are going to use a free plugin to create a backup of your website and the same plugin can be used to restore your website. Now let me show you how to install the plugin. Now if I'm logged into my website, I'm going to plugins and go to add new. Now search for all in one WP migration. All right, so we are going to use this plugin all in one WP migration. Click on install now. Activate it. Now the same plugin will be used to restore your website. Now the plugin is installed. Here you will see, click on it. Okay, now this is for export. All right, so we are on the export page. Now click on export to. Now here you will see different options. Some of them will need uh, a paid extension. Now we, we are using a free plugin and we are not paying, going to pay for any extension. So select this option, the file. Now it's going through creating a backup file of your complete WordPress website. Now it's going to take some time. All right, now you can see that the file is ready to download and the file size is 283 MB. Okay, so you can click on it. Now it is giving me the file to save and the file type will be WPress file. So leave it as it is and just click on save. Now it's going to save it on the desktop because the location I have selected is the desktop. The download process is going on. All right, so the download is completed and it has been saved on my computer. Now it happens many times that when you click on this download button, you may get an error that is uh, called as download fail. Here you will see something like download fail. So in that case, you can simply close this one and go to the backups. Now here under the backups, you will see the same copy of the file that you can download again. All right. So right now we have the copy of our WordPress website downloaded on the desktop. Now do not just keep it on the desktop. Go to the uh, go to your computer and uh, create a folder something like backup name it as backup so that you will understand that the file the backup files are in this particular uh, folder and you may have uh, more than one websites for backup so you can create another folder such as the name of the domain so that you will identify this is the file this is the folder for the uh, backup of this particular domain okay and inside that keep the file take it from the desktop and save it on the particular folder all right so what i have done i have created a backup folder under that i have created the another folder by the name of the domain and under that i kept the file the backup file of my wordpress website now what how to restore the website so let's consider that your website is completely gone from that domain so what you need to do you need to uh, install the fresh copy of wordpress uh, on that domain or whatever link it is install the fresh copy of wordpress and that may not have all the plugins here so you can simply go ahead and install the same plugin to that blank wordpress website and after that this will show and go to import okay now import the file that we have saved as a backup okay so it may be uh, under the folder that we created the backup folder from here 
you can import this file and uh, it will start importing it will start restoring the same wordpress website as it is so this is how you can save the copy of your wordpress website on your computer all right so that's it for now thanks for watching Thank you.